In this morning's flu watch, H1N1 and obesity. New research suggests that so-called morbid obesity may be a key factor for H1N1 victims who end up in the hospital. Early show contributor Dr. Holly Phillips is back with us. So what is the connection here? Because we've, we were kind of starting to understand that anecdotally. We have numbers now to kind of back it up, right? Exactly, Harry, and the numbers are very interesting. Of the 268 hospitalized patients for whom we had weights, uh, actually 58% of them were obese, and 25% of that group were considered morbidly obese. Now that's more than 100 pounds overweight, mm -hmm. uh, so they were significantly overweight, and they were at five times increased risk of complications from the H. H1N1 flu than the general population. So this really should be, this is a small slice of, of, of all the thousands and tens of thousands of people who have, have had H1N1, and in this group, we're really finding out that obesity, and especially morbid obesity, can be particularly dangerous. Very much so. Morbid obesity uh, in this context was thought to be as much of a risk factor, even more than pregnancy, which we know is a six times increased risk for complications. Right. So it's really a serious risk factor and something we need to even look closer at. And so how, what, what, what's the takeaway here? What do we really need to understand? If I'm obese or morbidly ob obese, I absolutely have to get out and get that H1N1 shot, but what else do I need to be paying attention to? Well, very much so. What, what the study, they couldn't look at exactly what was causing the complications in the morbidly mm -hmm. obese population, but we do know people who are obese are at an increased risk of having uh, underlying illnesses, right. what we would consider diabetes, heart disease, lung Respiratory problems. problems. Exactly, and right. this can place them at an increased risk for complications from H1N1. Now, a third of the patients who were morbidly obese did not have underlying complications. Right. Uh, so this makes it seem as though obesity itself may be a risk factor for having these problems with the H1N1 flu. Right. Now, and Harry, this is different than the seasonal flu. We've right. never thought before that obesity was a risk factor for complications with the seasonal flu, right. but H1N1 is proving it different. There you go. Holly Phillips, thank you so much.